Oh, Shall we, yes. sir? Let's get it on the road. So, uh, I always refer to you as chef when I see you, you know. Michael uh, but now is good. I get weirded out when people call me chef because I've never really identified myself yeah. Yeah. in that way. Just call me Matt. Like, it's it totally cool. It feels a little uncomfortable, doesn't it? For sure. Like, even the first time I met you, um, which, by the way, for me, was a big deal. I think we started talking on, on Twitter. God bless Twitter. That's you know, right. Twitter. God bless Twitter. And then when I met you, I was like, wow, you're, you're such a dad. Like, you know, I, and I mean that's such a positive thing. Like, you, I found, like, you, you are a mentor in the most truthful way possible. Sitting down, having a conversation, slapping a cook on the back and saying, you did an amazing job tonight. I watched you for 15 minutes, the way you were tossing that pan, checking the seasoning on that pasta, putting all the love you could muster yeah. into putting it onto a plate. It made a difference to how things ran tonight. Fantastic job. It's all of a sudden you feel that that gets you so much further ahead. It's amazing. I couldn't agree more, man. Yeah. You have to motivate, you have to engage, and you have to mentor and teach. And uh, running a business is a little bit like, um, I, I, I liken it to having kids. <laughs> uh, they don't come with an instruction yeah. manual, right? Yeah. What are you uh, What are you feeling like noshing on today? What do you want to? We ultimately are going to go get some lunch. So what do you, What do you want to eat? Why don't we head on out and uh, have some meat pie? Oh, a this guy, huh? Crusty English style meat pie. I've seen meat pies devoured two different ways, <laughs> and I have an idea of how Michael Bonaccini eats his meat pie. I want to make sure <laughs> it actually like now. Do you eat it like it's? Like with your hand, or do you actually it, go in there with a fork and it, dig through? It, it depends on the mood and, and what I'm up to for the day. <laughs> All right, so here's is, tw uh, is 20 bucks enough for some pies? Is that? We'll see what we get. Yeah. For 20 bucks. <laughs> you let me know. Uh, I'll be here waiting. All right. And uh, I'll miss you. Keep the engine running. <laughs> keep the engine running. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll keep your heat seater on too. That way, when you come back, you're, nice you're good to go. Okay. See you shortly. Cheers. Napkins oh, you. yes, thank God. You know, I always, I wonder this about you. So what is, when you go home, what do, you, what do you like to eat? Like, I'm a cheeseburger guy. I love a good cheeseburger and IPA. I love a humble roast chicken. And we will have roast chicken at home at least once a week. My wife does an amazing salt roasted chicken, where she roasts it upside down with a bit of sea salt, lemon, bay leaf, garlic, sage, absolutely gorgeous. Well, let's dig in, shall we? All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat and drive. I do this a lot. You this do, is, do that. I'm gonna, okay, That's so yours. which one's this one? You have got the classic red oh, beef. Yeah. I think the key with a pie is you don't want to have a, a soggy bottom. bottom. A soggy bottom. Who likes a soggy bottom? <laughs> That's why I turned your, your seat warmer on. What do you feel about the turnover of the in the city? Because for all the amazing restaurants that open, I'd say half of them are probably closing. Yeah, you know, our industry is notorious for a high rate of failure. But I just think when people get into the restaurant business, uh, they are there and buy it. They think of food and wine and friends and having a wonderful time. And not enough emphasis is put on by the upcoming challenge and the fierce competitiveness of it. And it is a business, like most businesses, you need to be driven and be passionate about that. It's the very first restaurant that we ended up closing. It really it took me down. It, it, it felt like someone had hit me so like a gut. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was just, you never want to let go because you think it was a great idea. Really? And why isn't it working? And, and come on, people. And often I'm asked, what is, what is the recipe for success? It's, 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 but don't you love questions not, like that? I do. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's so not, easy. You just yeah. put a little bit of this and that, and anyone no, it's not. And it doesn't work like that, you know. It, it doesn't. It's not. It's not one ingredient. Yeah. So I'm gonna take you to a place called. You probably it's not far from from where I picked you up. Uh, Kanga meat pies. You might be okay. down the street here. Actually. Oh, there it is. See, I know it. There we go. I will be back with the pie, sir. Alrighty. All right. Uh, have fun. You know. Good night, mate. Yeah. You know. Have fun. You play drums on the dashboard. Okay. Thank you very much, Matt. Alrighty, my car's covered in salt. 
over. I just, I literally washed them before I picked you up. And it's all. And we've hardly had any snow this winter. So now, when you are coming up with a, when you're opening up a new restaurant, what comes first for you? Is it concept? Is it a menu? It is the location. Where is this? Uh, what are the demographics around it? What's happening around it? But I think more importantly, it's about creating the vision. And the teams, we like to get them to sit down and talk about what that vision is. Imagine that restaurant being built. You walk into it and describe it. And everything we do needs to drive us towards that vision. You know what, Michael, just in case we run out of battery, yes. let's do a fake goodbye right now. Sure, okay. Uh, Mr. Boncini, Michael, Mikey, whichever one it is, Master Chef, uh, thank you for being so candid today and for having some meat pies with me. Matt, I couldn't have had a better...